my name is Elise Raamsbeek and I'm from Denmark and I wanted to make a sculptor introduction video because congratulations apparently you own a sculptor printer and there are some things that are nice to know um, first I should probably tell you that I have only ever had sculpto as a 3d printer and I'm a software woman not so much hardware, so I might get some names and terms wrong. This is not intentional, it's just, you know, it's not important to me. Um, and my first introduction to 3D printing was the Sculpto printer, which came out as a beta test during the Kickstarter in August 2016, and seeing as it's now 2020, August still. Um, you know, it's it's four years of experience with Sculpto printers, and I'm hoping to share that with you. I was gonna, you know, make a short video, but uh, I tried that, and it was it was a bit long winded, and my uh, my phone ran out of uh, of space, and uh, then it overheated, and I've had to recharge it a few times. So I'm really glad I chose to make these as individual videos at this point. Also, we're having a heat wave in Denmark, so this is hopefully the last video. So I will just walk you through the topics, and I should be able to add like a link to the individual videos, but this is to give you an idea of what you go through in like more than 10 videos. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the topics are 3D printing in general, and this I talk a little bit about what is slicing, and what is an easy to use uh, 3D printer? Um, then we have the involution of the Sculpto printer. I started out making an extended version and I've already posted this. There's also a short version, so you know, there are options on that. Then the most important thing I can tell you is to stay with the printer until it starts printing. Yeah, I, I walk through some of the known bugs with starting up. Magnetic build plate. Uh, I go through the flexible tops, things to be aware of when using them. Uh, it's just stuff like that. Set calibration is about how the first layer should look, what you can do, consequences of it, how to adjust it on the fly, um, things like that. Y calibration. This is the distance from the center. This is like pinching, gaping, things avoiding the center, what to do, how to adjust, things like that. Then we go under the hood. Uh, this is how to get inside the machine, what you need, how it's supposed to look. Then we take a closer look at the filament gear. I talk a bit about grinding, overheating, clicking sound, what that means, how to clean, how to remove it, and what to do if you want it to turn and it doesn't. Then talk about the Bowden cable, how it's attached, how to deattach it, things like that. The hot end, like, um, yeah, just stuff about that. Then we talk about filament, different types of filament, uh, old filament, new filament, alternative filament, heat, humidity, stuff. Changing filament, how to change the filament, what interesting things that can happen there, how to make multicolor prints and such. Then I go through the printer settings, uh, both for the, I, I'm, I talk a bit about the web app, but mostly I use the phone app, but you can use either. A uh, bit about slicing, what it means for you, yeah. Designing. How to design, what to think about if you design, what you do if you get a file that's too big. Post-processing. What you can do when your print gets off the build plate. And then a few of the questions that have been like, why can't I do this and that? That, you know, things that I haven't already covered. This was a lot, and if you 
if you're gonna watch through everything, it's gonna be a while. Good luck, I hope you like them.